Hello, welcome along to the Wixie Boy Kitchen. Come in, come on. So it's a little bit of a slightly different episode this time. We're not following on in the sequence that we'll be doing. This is kind of the start of a new little spin-off series, uh, which I'm going to name the Wixie Boy Express. So basically it's just going to be a couple of short little videos, um, just showing you some sort of day-to-day -day stuff. Simple things for the barbecue, um, some nice flatbreads that I make it quite a lot. Um, lots of just little things where it's not really much cooking, just mixing together. I'm just showing you a few of the things that I enjoy. So, today, I'm going to make turkey burgers for dinner tonight. So I thought, why not start with this? This turkey burger recipe is something that we devised, me and my better half. And we love it. It's beautiful. It's great in the, great in the summer. Stick it on the barbecue. A little bit more healthier than beef. Um, and I've got to give a shout out to Ross Young, actually, because he was the one who kind of got me into this type of thinking many years back. Um, when he gave me a turkey burger recipe uh, when I was eating clean and I wasn't as fat as this and I was doing boot camps and stuff. So, yeah. And then I kind of developed it and I've just added spices and things and try to... Because turkey can be a little bit bland at times. You have to add things to it, I find. Whereas beef, it's fine. Just a bit of seasoning. So, yeah. Got to give him a shout out. Go and check him out, actually. Live Young Boot Camps. Live Young Fitness and Boot Camps, I think it's called. Great guy. Great PT, great boot camps. If you want to get fit, get out there. He's on Facebook. He's a good man. Right. So anyway, let's start this. So, so what do you need? A pack of turkey mince, 450, 500 grams. That'll do four burgers. Yeah, it's about just over 100 grams a burger, really. Um, that's how I tend to work things, 100 grams per person. Uh, so this will actually make four for four people or two burgers each. Obviously, you can freeze them and all that sort of stuff, so it's fine. And if you've got a barbecue, you know, you're going to want more than that anyway. So, for the spices we have in there. I've done this already, so but I'll just let you know what it is. So, half a teaspoon of paprika. I'll put the graphic up here again. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder or garlic salt. Um, you can get that in. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's funny old stuff. You can get it in most places, though. Smelly. Smells horrible, but yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, what else goes in there? Quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then what else do we need? We need an egg, a tablespoon of mustard, and a tablespoon of breadcrumbs or panko. Quite like to use panko actually. And a good little tip for you for making panko, if you use, want to use panko, get yourself a box of cornflakes, smash them up into tiny little bits. What I do, get a rolling pin, get in there. You need to get it really fine. And then you, that is the same as panko. Panko crisp, basically. So you pay a fortune buying panko crumbs, whatever they're called, Japanese type thing. You can make it with a 80 pence box of cornflakes. Last you for ages, what I always do. Really good as well for like tempura and yeah, I mean anything with batter obviously that you want to use that's a little bit better than cooking up a batter. Right, so we're gonna get the egg in there now. It's actually an egg yolk. So the egg yolk's gone in with those spices. Got me turkey. Let's get all that in there. You could probably wait and put the egg yolk in now. It's a bit premature there, really. Okay, get them in. Let's get the tablespoon of Dijon in there. And we'll keep that out. And I'm going to use panko. Tablespoon and a half of panko, let's say. Let's get that out of the way. Um, some pepper. And I've already put some salt in, but a little bit for luck. And then what we do, we get our hands in and we mix it up. So yeah, we give this a good mix up. It does go a little bit, it feels a bit sloppy. I would definitely suggest doing this like 
in the afternoon before you're gonna eat them in the evening. What I sometimes like to do is make them into the burgers and then pop them in the freezer for 10 minutes just to like harden them up a little bit or just stick them in the fridge if you've got a bit of time. But you, you wanna kind of leave them to just rest a little bit really. And then what you wanna do Divide this into four. If you've got a burger press, you can use that. But I've got one, but I can't be asked to get it out. Right, so what I'm just gonna do is make some rough burgers with it. Roughly shaped sort of burgers. Now you're done, basically. Um, if you've got yourself some um, greaseproof paper, Good idea to get them on that. Just keep some in their shape. Stack them as well. Yeah, you can see my mix is a little bit sloppy because I had to defrost my. I had frozen mints and it went a bit. It's fine. Probably good to do them too high, actually. Probably good to do them like that. Bang them in the fridge. Jobs are good and really. Have them stacked too high like that. And then cook them how you would normally cook a burger. On a grill. Um, I would recommend on a sizzler. That's what I shall be cooking them on later. Um, seal them off. Cook them like you would a normal burger. There you go. Slightly healthier burger for your barbecues. Okay. Thanks for watching guys and yeah subscribe the usual stuff follow me instagram and we'll see you again thank you